Understanding Mezzi and Palomi coax made in Italy, perhaps the best coax for ham radio operators today, HF, VHF, UHF, even up to microwave. This stuff is some of, if not the top best coax made for ham radio today. We're going to take a look at it right now. Thanks for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. This is Ham Radio 2.0. We do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in ham radio. M&P Coax has been around for a while, so it's not new, but it's new to me. Okay, I recently just rewired my entire shack with Broad Pro 50 coax, which is a which is a solid core, flexible coax, a slightly larger diameter than LMR 400. So I reached out to Stefano in Italy and I said, hey, can you explain to me the difference between all these models? Because what is Broad Pro 50? What is Airborne? What is Hyperflex? What is Ultraflex? He's got a Hyperflex and an Ultraflex. What's the difference? What does it mean to say Broad Pro 50, 50? There's an Airborne series, Airborne 5 and 10. There's an Ultraflex 5 and 7 and all this, and thir Hyperflex 13. What does all this stuff mean? And he was very gracious to provide me with much more information than I ever needed. <laughs> but, but he did touch on all the key points, and I think it's good to understand what all of these types of coax are for, because he's got something for everything. If you're going to wire up your shack, you're going to use one type. If you're going to go out on POTA, you're going to want something more lightweight. If you're going to wire up your vehicle, you might want something a little bit heavier duty, but more flexible, that kind of thing. So what do all these things mean? We're going to go through all the types of MMP coax today. You can get a 5% discount on all MMP coax at Gigaparts with the coupon code of KC5HWB, my call sign. Okay, I will share a link below. I got a link below that goes to all the different things at gigaparts.com that you can get discounts on. One of those things is MMP coax, among four or five other things. So follow the link below if you're interested in this stuff. Read more about it. Follow the links to MMP's Mezzi and Plumi's website. They've got much more detailed information on all their items. So I hope you enjoy this video today. Mezzi and Plumi offers three different versions of cable coax with a solid core. Now, a solid core is going to be less flexible, and it is made for a permanent install, perhaps in a ham shack, perhaps in a repeater shack, a club station, something like that, something where you're going to put up an antenna and not want to move it around a lot. Airborne 5 has an outer diameter of 0.200 inches, and Airborne 10 has an outer, outer diameter of 0.400 inches. So the 5 and the 10, I think, are like millimeter or, or metric measurements of some sort, something like that. These are ultralight cables made specifically for DXing teams who need durable cable to carry around while saving a lot of money on shipping rates. This explains the given name, Airborne, so it's easier to ship. So I said Solid Core was more for your shack and a permanent install, and while that's true, m and offers coax that is Solid Core and performs better than stranded core. Stranded core is good. Solid core is better. So they make a solid core lightweight coax for DXing teams. That's pretty darn cool. Airborne 5 has a solid copper core, an outer conductor. It has an AL PET AL foil, which is aluminum magnesium braid, no galvanic effect. Airborne 10 has a copper clad aluminum solid core, similar to that of LMR 400, but slightly bigger for improving attenuation. It also has a copper foil plus copper clad aluminum braid. The choice of copper coil and CCA braid helps to prevent the galvanic effect that becomes present when two different metals are in contact with one another. In LMR 400, we see aluminum foil plus a tinned copper braid inducing the galvanic effect. Airborne 10 is the cable that our lineup most resembles the famous LMR 400. So Airborne 10 is what you're going to want if you're wanting to replace your LMR 400. Check the specs on the website. I'll, their performance if compares with cables of the same outer diameter, overall outer diameter, such as RG58, which is 0.200 inches, or LMR 400, which is 400, 0.405 inches, is really remarkable. The third type of coax with a solid core is their Broad Pro 50. 
Now, this is the cable that I have in my shack. It's on a permanent install, and I don't plan to move it around much. Although, they do make a flexible cable that I've routed behind my desk to route from several radios that are on my desk to a Alpha Delta switch that I have to switch back and forth which radio I want going to the antenna. So, BroadPro 50 is the historic cable for M&P from which everything started. Excellent technical features, all made of copper, and for this reason, heavier than the Airborne Tim with the same outer diameter. It is not variable since it has a PVC jacket, but it is semi-flexible. Broad stands for broadband, and 50 is for the impedance. So it's broadbanded 50-ohm coax made by m &P. These three cables, as well as any other cable in the world with a solid core, cannot be matched to a rotator. So don't put this on your tower and attach it to the rotator. You're going to want to run this up to the tower and then put a some sort of barrel connector matching unit up at top with more flexible coax that turns with the antenna because uh, these will break with lots of torsions turning r around and around. Like I said, this is made for more of a permanent install where your coax is not going to move. When MMP decided to enter the demanding and sophisticated German and Northern European markets, they face challenges of producing cables specifically designed to use with rotors, therefore are very flexible. Making stranded core cables is much more difficult than you think, and they had to develop a refined technology and design in order to be taken into account against well-established competing models. This led to the line of ultraflex cables and later the hyperflex cables. They are both the most successful cables in the world, according to MMP. Hyperflex 5 is 0.212 inches and is a state-of-the-art cable with a reactive braid that looks rather like a solid core. Exceptional shielding attenuation, remarkable flexibility and attenuations that outperform competing cables with the same diameter, such as Belden H155, and compared to other cables with a larger diameter, such as RG8XX or RF240. All of these cables are made of copper, both in the inner and two outer conductors, foil plus braid. The Ultraflex 7, having an outer diameter of 0.287 inches, is the most successful cable that M&P offers. And with only 0.287 inches, it can easily replace cables such as RG8, RG213, and RG214. All cables with a bigger outer diameter of, of 0.405 inches or more is what this cable is made to compete with. Great screening efficiency, flexibility, reactive braid, and overall performance. This is one of the best sellers in Europe. This was the cable chosen by WRTC 2018 in Germany and WRTC 2022 in Italy. Many DAXing teams use it, along with the aforementioned airborne cables. Very flexible and light, perfect for all rotors and copper. The following variants change only for the jacket material. It cannot be buried. The Ultraflex 7 cannot be buried. For this, there is the sibling Extraflex Berry 7 with polyethylene sheath, where the flexibility is lost to gain total impermeability to stagnant water, greater lightness, and resistant to trampling. Finally, they also added the Ultraflex 7 Sahara. The Sahara coax is a white coax. You might have seen this in a couple of my field day videos. KAMRD brought some out, and it was very cool stuff to work with. The white sheath is to reduce the effects of the scorching sun in hot countries, extending the operating life of the cable and keeping the cable colder in the summer, especially if linear amplifiers are used. The hotter the cable is, the worse the attenuation. Ultraflex 10 is another one of the best sellers with an outer diameter of 0 0.305 inches, very flexible, all copper, and also with a core stranded with seven wires, such as LMR 400 UF. Great for HF and UHF bands. Its inner and outer conductors are totally made of copper. Hyperflex 10 is their spearheaded, flexible 0.405-inch cables. It has a core made up with 19 stranded wires as opposed to the 7 wires of the Ultraflex 10 or LMR400. It has copper foil. It has a sturdy, lightweight, 192 copper-clad aluminum reactive braid as opposed to the 144 wires of copper braid in the Ultraflex 10. For this reason, it is lighter than the Ultraflex 10. It has the same PVZ jacket and outer diameter 0.405 inches as the Ultraflex 10 and the LMR400. That's the Hyperflex 10 we're talking about. All in all, this cable has a core more flexible and resistant to torsions with 19 wires, 
and a much improved dielectric technology, state of the art 80% 87% velocity factor. An improved reactive braid for optimal screaming efficiency while adding more resistance to torsions and is the best choice for doing EME, which is higher frequencies typically. Thanks to the exceptional performance at very high frequencies, VHF, its performance gets close to solid core cables such as Broad Pro 50 or Airborne 10. Given with this success, they have made the variable version, the ExtraFlex Berry 10, the halogen-free version, and the HyperFlex 10 Sierra Sahara FT8 version. So they, they made Sahara so you could run a lot of power through the cable with FT8, which, as we know, is has a much greater duty cycle than sideband. HyperFlex 10 Sahara FT8, released in August of 2021, differs from its sibling for an all-copper 216-wire braid, reducing the outer conductor resistance by half, and has a white jacket for hotter countries and can be used in the desert-type situations. This ensures a very high thermal resistance to continuous carrier transmissions with high power amplification. A best buy for power lovers, but of course it's heavier than the HyperFlex 10. The HyperFlex 13, one of their largest cables, is the object of desire of hams all over the world. The only cable with 37 wires core, perfectly concentric and geometric, a core incredibly smooth and rounded. The outer screen is made of copper foil, copper clad aluminum braid, and the outer diameter is a half inch, 0 0.500 inches. It outclasses in every respect the LMR 500 UF and matches performances of the LMR 600 UF in a much smaller, much more flexible and lighter body. It's also less expensive. All of MNP's last generation cables offer 105 dB screening efficiency as opposed to the 90 dB of most modern competitor cables and to the 55 dB of standard RG8 and RG213, RG58, and RG214. The 24 spools braiding machines that are used to achieve this have 50% more crossovers if compared to the traditional 16 fuses braids of most of the competition, and this plays a mechanical role in contrasting the torsions, acting as a spring from which derives the name reactive braids. So this is the MNP coax at its finest, including... Broad Pro 50, Airborne 5 and 10, Hyperflex, Ultraflex, Extraflex, which is the variable cable, and all the different sizes and braids. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Put your comments below, and thank you for watching. MMP Co... <clears throat> so I reached out to Stefano... <clears throat>